This is an awesome spot. I've been dying to do this one for a while. Actually, uh, I got notice about this place from a subscriber. Oh, that's gonna be a noisy night. I can tell that already, but yeah, look at this. Now this is a good camping spot if I've ever seen one. Everyone's childhood dream is to sleep under a bridge. And today, that dream comes true for me. There's a farmhouse over there. I'm not sure if they can see under the bridge from where they are, or if they even care if somebody's sleeping under a bridge. But we'll find out as the night goes through. I'm gonna start walking down here. It looks like almost a walking trail, which could be very interesting if there's early morning traffic. So people definitely come down through here. I don't know if there's good fishing there or if this trail just kind of goes on from here, but I'm seeing a lot more farmhouses over there. And I'm pretty exposed to them, so yeah, crawl back under my bridge like a troll and uh, get set up. Now, I'm gonna be off the ground tonight on a cot. This packs up pretty small. And it didn't break the bank. It was on sale at Canadian Tire. But uh, these uh, these cots are a lifesaver in a position like this because if I actually lay down on this ground, I don't want to wake up with a syringe dangling out of my knees or something. Like I have to be somewhat careful. I've also got with me bear spray. Not that I expect there to be a bear problem but I am under a bridge with a bunch of camera gear. Nature shelter, uh, no tent required. Pretty much all of this stuff I'm using is this Woods brand, and it's uh, it's the local, well, the, the Canadian tires brand of uh, camping stuff. They seem to be the only place that sells it, and it's not absolute garbage. Uh, certainly not something you're going to climb Mount Everest with, but it's, uh, it beats the, the other cheap stuff that, I've, that, I, that I do see in other stores. I won't name the brand, but uh, yeah, there's some, uh, there's some real junky gear out there, that's for sure. Now this is a camp. I do have to give a big shout out to Jake and Sharon, who have uh, sent a care package, included in it some whiskey. Because it ain't sleeping under a bridge unless you're drinking straight whiskey right out of the Mickey. So, thank you guys. They don't make bridges like this anymore. This is a vagrant's dream. You could thumb it clean across the country and never have to worry about shelter if every bridge was like this. Uh, the new ones have real steep angles, no flat surfaces, so nowhere to camp at all. And yeah, if every bridge in the world was like this, the world would be a perfect place. The sun is setting on another day in this world. It should soon be dark. And that, that makes things all the stealthier. Clearly a muskrat infestation out there. The place is swimming with them. There 
there's one right now. We'll definitely have to do some cleanup around here. Some snicker puss left their jacket and an empty or two here, so there's a few empties around. I'm not the first person that got this idea. But the quantity of firewood available for scavenging was low. Uh, so I'm going to shelf this idea. It's probably a good plan since uh, it could raise a little more suspicion, um, anger with authorities if they see I'm having a, a little fire pit down here. So play it on the safe side, uh, first time under a bridge. So I don't know exactly what the etiquette is on um, campfire rings under public bridges. So uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a little hungry. I think it's time to cook a uh, under the bridge meal. Little isobutane stoves really do the job. Uh, when you got to pack light and when it's not too cold out, it's minus 40, these things are not going to want to do the job. But we don't have to deal with that for a couple of weeks at least. Some good cooking power. Right. Just got these little frozen boil them in a bag peas, so that's what we're gonna do here. Boil them up. And I have to say, I am shocked with how many vehicles seem to be dragging stuff behind them on the roads. I don't know if it's uh, chains for a, for a trailer that are just too loose or, or what it is, but there's a lot of stuff scraping along the bridge deck up there, so that's uh, probably not good for the bridge. I go camping for convenience. And a nice meal, I like to do a rich meal, poor meal. So um, the tenderloin with a little mac and cheese uh, instant cup and some peas. It's like a, a bite before payday and a bite on payday. It's uh, foods that don't normally go together. You wouldn't expect. Eh. Oh, they don't give you much in one of these little cups, I'll say that. But that's okay. Low carb, low carb, yum yum, keto. <laughs> Steve's uh, diet with Steve. And it's probably pretty crucial to not overfill this thing. Okay. Oh, I see. All right, I'll let this. Uh, <laughs> turn into food and uh, heat up the pan. That beautiful wife uh, tucked away at the hotel right now. It's, uh, I know it's a good hotel because the price is permanently plastered on the side of the building and their logos and cowboy hats. So what could go wrong, right? Pan fried is not my ideal version of a steak. I will say that. But Working with the resources under the bridge, I think this is going to be just fine. Cook this to medium rare. I'm always scared to overdo a steak, so this could be on the little rare side, but Okay, that's what these cuts of meat are for. And yeah, let that rest. 
dish up some veggies. And silly me, these are supposed to be microwaved, but I think it'll still work. Could be a little bit on the crunchy side. There's mac and cheese. No, that actually worked out okay. Definitely not as good as the um, as the properly made mac and cheese or craft dinner as we call it in Canada. But uh, yeah, now we're talking. Let's just see what happens here. Today is the day of steak. Mm. Those peas aren't that bad either. Hmm. Not bad. Looks a little well, no, not well done, but better done than I normally like it. Hmm. Tender, tender. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Not bad for in the dark under a bridge. Well, upon second taste, these little to-go mac and cheese things get three thumbs down. They're not uh, not as good as I was hoping, but this is why we got the steak to balance that out. Mm. I've got a nice long list of people who've donated to make this possible, so thank you all. I am sponsored by no companies, but uh, people do donate money for beer and gear, and that type of stuff. So big shout out to all you guys. Thank you very much. Um, had to get a new lens, actually. The camera tipped over, <laughs> so that it's all making this possible. But uh, as well, a uh, birthday shout out to Skylar. Um, Caitlin says uh, I should give you a shout out, and we got local good Edmontonian there, and you also supported the channel. So thank you, thank you so much. Cots are a lifesaver, I can say. So. We're gonna see if this traffic wants to slow down tonight at all, because that would sure be nice. Help me catch a few more Z's. Uh, thanks for watching so far guys. We're gonna check out in the morning and we'll see uh, just how cold it gets tonight. It's feeling probably around below the dew point, that's for sure. Probably around five Celsius, uh, somewhere in there. So we're you know, probably in the 40s Fahrenheit, I don't know. But, oh gee, good night guys. We'll see you in the morning. It was basically the worst sleep of my life last night. Um, if anybody is sleeping under a bridge that watches this, man, my hat goes off to you. I don't know how you could do this. Um, wow. The, this road is really busy. If it was a less traveled road, this would be like the perfect spot of all time. But not a busy road. This is, uh, this is just horrible. <laughs> But uh, yeah, as far as stealthiness, I would give this uh, four stars. Um, in terms of noise, uh, this got like 30% uh, thumbs down. No, 100% thumbs down, 100% thumbs down. Uh, there's just too much noise here. Um, I, I would not be able to be up feeling fresh and uh, go to work after a night or two of, uh, of sleeping out here. So anyways, got up bright and early today. Not just because I barely slept, but uh, something I've been really excited to see. Turned on the news. Could not believe my eyes when I saw was in the news right now. They're doing more Starlink 
beta, public beta tests. So that could finally solve my internet problems. Uh, I'm, when I upload these, I'm like huddled underneath the cell phone tower with my tethered uh, to the phone trying to upload. This would be a game changer if I could just upload from home instead of going on the road trip of all time. So that's really cool. I was very happy to see to see that in the news this morning. And uh, I'm going to pack up and get out of here. I have to get back into town. The snow is probably going to fall in the next day or two. Or later on this week, there's, there should be a little fall, uh, a little fall dusting of snow. And that's going to be what sticks around for the rest of the winter. Uh, it's going to be bad uh, if I don't get everything out of my yard, which is kind of, I'm not winterized, we'll put it that way. So I'll get back home, crazy neighbor will be over, work on the treehouse a little bit, uh, get the yard tidied up. And uh, uh, if you find anything like this watchable, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool benefit. You get to see the ones I put out sometimes sporadically. Uh, then don't, don't follow a schedule of any type. Yeah. But anyways, thanks guys. Uh, we'll see you later. Cheers. Thanks for capping with Steve.